Alright. Today we are looking at Satan's Son number four from a series I immensely ate. Well, this one is. It's funny. After an horrific character destroying first three issues, we get to the fourth one, and it is the most hilariously pathetic issue around. In the 90s, Ghost Driver was everywhere. Ghost Driver guest starred in every series. He was considered a hot ticket. People always think of Wolfman as the character they would have show up in books to boost sales. But in the 90s, it was Ghost Driver. He guest starred in basically every series. Well, there is one series that definitely never ever had a Ghost Driver guest star issue. And that is this one. The original cover art for this, which I will flash on screen now, there it is. Look, that is Ghost Driver. This was meant to be yet another of Ghost Driver's guest star and roles. But here, you have got the answer to the question... How bad does a comic book have to be so that they didn't want to let them use Ghost Driver? The tragedy is this is a series where Ghost Driver showing up would make sense. Satan's Son was introduced in Ghost Driver comics in the 70s. Ghost Driver number one. He was a character spun off from Ghost Driver. And even with the horrible tone and the ideas behind this series, Ghost Driver would make sense as a character to bring in. I will say this issue, this two part story, it is entertaining. But probably for the wrong reasons. Also maybe helping matters is that this is written by someone else. There was another issue later in the series that I had. Which was also written by the same person. And they are much better than the Warren Fallis Pap. I should probably talk about the creation of this series. It dawned on me that not everyone is aware of how it came to be. I would like to point out straight away a fact most people didn't know about this series. Kurt Busey was involved in the planning of it. Most of that first story arc i.e. the continuity breaking shit as opposed to the character breaking shit was his contribution. You can see it with how Satan's son writes off every past appearance as being smoke and mirrors. You see what we have here is an amalgamation of of two pictures. There was actually a third pitch for the series. They just ignored. Which was much better. It was the artist from Steve Engeltine's Vision and Charlotte Witch. He wanted to date what could have been an interesting hybrid of romance comics and occult mystery with Satan's son and the cat as the leads. Instead, we have Kurt Busey's remodeling of continuity and then we add in stuff from Warren Fallis's pitch, 
the counterculture cape eight and smug atheists, wife torturing shites. And it is all brought to life by editor Fabio Nicieza, who deserves a shout because as a comic book writer, he is great, but as an editor, he is a fucking disaster. He couldn't hold on to any artists on this series for long. He demolished the title character straight off the bat in the pursuit of people paying notice to his series. And he couldn't even get the green lights to feature Ghost Driver as a guest star. With this issue... It's not intolerable. The plot is boring. The lead character is unlikable, basically from all the damage done in the first three issues. And honestly, it's not worth talking about. Let's just get to the hysterical ghost driver replacement. This guy up here on his motor bicycle. It's pretty crazy. Rather than can the issue when it turns out they are not allowed to use Ghost Driver. They just gonna head with it but change Ghost Driver to be a new character who is just like Ghost Driver. And it was never explained or set up. They didn't even try to change it much. He rides a motor bicycle just like Ghost Driver. He looks the same. Other than his skin colour, he looks remarkably on model for Ghost Driver. And when he touches the medallion on his motor bicycle... He becomes a flaming skull face man. He becomes soul fire. You never get any explanation for this character. You never learn who he is really or why or how he became soul fire or even what soul fire is. He never appears again, obviously. And so we have a fight between a bastardised version of Satan's son and a ghost driver swap out. This issue and story are so fascinating to me. We have this bit where, oh look, he's clearly about a day ghost driver's penance day. The truth is, this is a comic that is skirting the so bad, it's good territory. Just the idea that even at the height of Ghost Driver Mania, this one awful series could not get approval to feature the character. And so they went ahead with this fucking stupid last minute replacement the bit with the motor bicycle at the start where they show him as a human teenager they could have and should have just cut that and try to cover their tracks a bit just say this is an evil demon or something and most people wouldn't make the connection Beyond the very similar designs. It is a special issue, this one. And I have barely reviewed it because it isn't worth a review. This series tanked Satan's Son as a character in infinite ways. And after the initial story arc, and compared to some of the equally as miserable shit that follows, this is just amusing to me. 
it isn't worth tearing up because it's nowhere near as mean-spirited or hate-filled as most of this series is. I didn't recommend you read it, but I recommend you laugh at this comic existing. It is a truly magnificent display of... Defeat. I do not have part two of this. I don't think I do anyway. I think I have now reviewed every issue of this series I own. I rate this one seven thumbs up. But one ghost driver guest appearance down.